All right. I, I want to get your opinion on something that came out uh, in The Athletic, a major article talking about pitchers using foreign substances to grip the ball. And we've heard a lot of talk about it, but guys haven't put their name on it. And now some active players have, including a catcher and a really good one in JT Real Muto of the Phillies. He said, listen, I think the substance issue is real. I would just crack down on the substances they use on their hands. You see pitchers out there all game long doing this, touching his mitt. They're not doing anything about it. I think if they crack down on it, that would honestly help the offense a lot. You know, get the ball in play, et cetera, et cetera. Is it a major problem right now, Trevor? There's there's a couple thoughts on this. Um, if they're going to have a rule in place, enforce it because there there are blatant this. There is blatant like there's there's blatant like I'm getting pine tar and putting it on my hand. There's there's a couple argument. The argument that we need the pitchers need pine tar or sticky substances to not hit you is a gross argument that 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 holds no weight. That the guys are getting hit at a, a, a crazy rate so like to say that you need stick to not hit a a person is that argument doesn't work what needs to happen is the balls for whatever reason this year and last year are are dusty i don't know if they're just they're in the pockets of the umpires the rosin mix they're using is different they they are dusty and they have a different feel um when it is cold it is hard to grip the baseball um does rosin and Rosin helps you grip a ball when you have some sort of moisture to go with it, like sweat. Um, that helps you grip the ball with rosin. When it's cold and you just have rosin, that turns into a cue ball, and you have it's hard to grip. It's re- it really is. Yeah. Um, does that mean I'm going to let one s- that has the potential to sail? Maybe, but to say that we need we need a certain sticky substance to. Um, so we don't hit batters. That, that argument doesn't work for me. Sunscreen and rosin is absurdly sticky. And you, you're telling me, well, I can't wear, I can't protect my body from these harmful UV rays. Like, yes, I'm going to put sunscreen on my arm and I'm going to put rosin where I'm at. But like pine tar is less sticky than sunscreen and rosin. It is. Um, the, the stuff that, the stuff that some guys are using that's like ceramic cement (laughs) that that shouldn't be that is illegal right i think what needs to happen is there some sort of mix that like you can use x y or z and you can use some sort of that mix um whether a lot or a little just to make it just to blanket it because the rosin really isn't working with how the i don't know if it's the balls or what it is, but they just feel different the last couple of years. Um, when it's cold, you, you just, you need to find a way to put tack on your hands so that they don't turn into cue balls. Um, but if you're, if you're, if you have this substance that isn't pine tar or sunscreen or rosin or whatever it is, and you're actively going to that, so you can turn your 2,500 slider into a 29 or 3000 slider for that one pitch that is cheating. Right. Like that is, that is uh, an athletic advantage that is cheating. And a lot of guys Um, are doing that. Just if you watch a pitcher all game, you will find out where he has it. You will find out where he sticks it. A good, a good hiding spot, which is hard to pick up because you're always looking at your glove is on the inside part of your thumb because you're always there. And you're, if you're looking at the ball, it's an easy spot, but Everyone has their spots under the belt hat. Um, I mean, rosin mixed with sweat. Like I said, a lot of guys have rosin on their hat because rosin mixed with sweat gives you that tack that is legal, that they provide that rosin for you to increase your grip. But that works in the summertime when it's hot, when it's cold, that rosin is detrimental to you trying to get grip on that baseball. Um, is Is it a huge problem? It becomes a huge problem when, You've got the guys that are throwing a fastballs exclusively at the top of the zone, and there's a lot of errant ones up and in. Um, there's, I mean, there's there's other arguments you can make too. Like as starting pitchers, Stephen and I, you go over scouting reports, and you you want to know where guys high swing and misses. If a guy's got high swing and miss percentage up and in, as a pitcher, you want to attack that when you know you need to get a swing and miss, right? 
sometimes when you go down and away, you miss over the middle. Meaning, so sometimes if I miss up and in, it's going to go arm side. Um, should you live there like some guys do? If you can't live there, then it becomes a problem. And if you say you need sticky to live there, I don't really buy that argument. I don't think that's, I don't think that's a good argument, but um, I think there needs to be some sort of something other than rosin and sunscreen and rosin. Because like, if you, if, if you've never done sunscreen and rosin, next time you go to the field, load up your hand with uh, sunscreen and then just grab that rosin bag. And you'll be like, this is insane. <laughs> like this is way too much <laughs> because you, you could just, it's, I don't know. It, that, that's what I, those are my thoughts on it. Yeah. I, so there's like, you know, they have all the numbers on that article on the athletic about like spin rate going up and everything. And I, I think the most important thing there's, there's going to be higher spin right now because people are just generally throwing harder and, you know, working on stuff from an earlier age and doing it more often, all that stuff. But the, the thing that's concerning is the jumps in like, like, you know, an off season, you know what I mean? Like if you're going from, you know, like Trevor said, if I've got a 2,500 spin rate slider and I come in next year and now it's 3,100, how did you get your spin rate up? Well, I, you know, I really focused on my arm path and my, yeah, no, no, you didn't. You're using stick. Like that's, that's what happened. And the problem is that it's because we have rosin and because sunscreen is allowed and because that has existed for forever, there's like a, there's like this baseline of allowed stuff, you know, like they, they give you rosin to use, so then it's people are just like, okay, well, I'm using rosin to make sure that I, I, I have good tack. Okay. Well, but pine tar is a little bit better. So I'll use that. And now people are going on the internet and buying like what he said, like ceramic cement or whatever. Um, and it's like glue. And, you know, that was like they, in that report, they talk about having baseballs come out where there's like literally like strings of glue coming off the ball. And that's not okay. Cause that's cheating. It's cheating. It's, it's, I, I hate, I hate it, but also it's funny. Cause it's like, you know, it's like the gateway, the gateway stick rosin and then rosin and sunscreen and then pine tar and then whatever else people are using. Um, but I, I just, I think it's weird. Like I, they're going to have to crack down on it. The problem is how do you do it? It has well, to be, yeah. it has to be an off season. Here's the rule. Everybody's going to follow it. If you see it in the clubhouse and you don't say anything about it and it gets found out, the manager is going to get fined and the player is going to get fined. And that means that the manager is going to have to start enforcing it. And that's how it'll happen. When they, when they came out in spring training with the, we're going to start taking baseballs, everyone knew no one's going to get in trouble. No, no one's going to get in trouble with this. No matter what, like if I'm going to be really surprised if someone gets in trouble this year because they found something on your baseball that they took out of a game because you just can't enforce it. It's, it's an optic thing. And right. if they, if they were to, to clean it up and show it to us in the off season and say, this was going to happen, then, then good. But to say that I'll get balls back after a ground out and be like, there's pine tar on this. Do I throw this in? Because now it's mine. There's pine tar because I threw a sinker on a guy's hands and he went like this and he hit it off the pine tar spot on his back. Mm -hmm. So when I throw this in, it's like, this is Trevor's baseball that now I'm throwing in, but there's pine tar all over it. So like, what do I just chuck it into the stands and be like, I don't want anybody <laughs> looking at this ball because, because I don't want to get in trouble for that because we knew like, this is unenforceable. So there, yeah. there needs to be a way and there just needs to be. And I think that's why they're taking baseballs out. I think they're trying to get a baseline. They're, of data they're collecting so they know, data. Like, yeah. yeah. They're yeah. not, they're not going to, enforce this no one's gonna get in trouble this year unless you michael pineda do something dumb just like a whole glob of pine tar on your neck yeah is, yeah that was one of the most absurd things i've ever seen it just it like was, it was silly it, it was, was like, so funny on. when they like show it on tv and 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 it's just like wow that's a very very shiny patch of skin like incredibly shiny patch of skin and then the umpire just comes up and it's just like dude, get out of here. What are you doing? <laughs> it's, it was just like, there's no way he thought he was actually going to get away with that. Oh my God. It's crazy. Oh man. That's all right. Well guys, thanks for your honesty. <clears throat> we appreciate the insight.